Hi guys, so I posted a look on Instagram that a lot of you guys requested to see a tutorial on and I didn't actually film one before I posted the pictures so I'm going to film that for you today. So I am starting off with some SPF, mine was in a huge bottle so I just put some in a smaller bottle. Even if it's like really really grey outside and it doesn't look like we're going to get any sun, I still use SPF. Okay, next I'm using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and this is in the light formula and I'm just smoothing that over my skin and I am concentrating it on my problem areas. Okay, now I'm going to use my foundation and this is the Naked Skin by Urban Decay in the shade number 5. And sometimes I mix in the Naked Skin Illuminating BB Cream because it really makes my foundation look really glowy and healthy. So I'll put a bit of that in and buffing it in with a Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm so excited so Eva sent me some brushes to review and I chose a set that had the kabuki the flat top kabuki brush so once I've used them enough I'll do a review and now I'm gonna use Lady Danger lipstick to correct under my eyes you can use an actual corrector for this I just don't have one and I think my darkness under my eyes is really really bad so I think a red lipstick work, would work better than a corrector anyway. And now I'm going to highlight and conceal in one basically using Anastasia's concealer in 1.5. I would usually use a beauty blender at this step but my cat's asleep on my lap and I don't want to wake her up so I'm going to use a MAC 130 to blend this in. So I highlighted everywhere else as well, I'm just going to buff that in. Just to set my under eye I'm going to bake and this is the Vichy Derma Blend Loose Powder, it doesn't really have a name. And I just wanted to say that I am still using these products with, from companies that test on animals because I have a lot of them and I only recently got into like only buying cruelty free makeup so I am um, like I'm trying to use the least that I can in my videos but some stuff I don't really have a substitute for so that's just why I'm using them and while that's baking I'm gonna contour under my cheekbones also I've gone back to using my sleep contour kit in I think this is in medium yeah medium because in my Anastasia cream and um, powder contour kit the shades are quite orangey but that's just the ones that I chose, like I was into like the orangey contour but now I'm back into like ashy colours so this is the ashiest one I have so I'm just contouring around the perimeters of my face and I'm gonna bake under my contour as well I like doing this now because it makes your contour look sharp without it looking like heavy. Like you don't have to put a lot of contour on. I'm gonna like soften this contour because I went a bit crazy but if you bake under it, it makes it pop anyway. Luna Jenna, got some powder on your head. Sorry about that. So after I've baked, I like to do my brows. So I just brush through them first. And I'm using my dip brow pomade in the colour medium brown. And my favourite brush for my eyebrows at the moment is the 317 from Zoeva. I think it's like just perfect for your eyebrows. It's actually a wing liner brush but it's good for a wing liner as well obviously. But I really like it for my eyebrows. Okay so that's my eyebrow done. Okay so I'm just going to quickly dust off all of this powder and then we'll come back to the face once the eyes are done. For the base for my eyeshadow I'm going to use Urban Decay's Primer Potion in the colour Eden and I like to use Eden because it cancels out the darkness on my lids and any veins that show. So the base is on and for this whole look I used the Melt Cosmetics Dark Matter Stack. Um, so those are the only eyeshadows I'll be using. I'm going to start with the first colour in the stack which is Blur and that's this colour here. And I'm just going to use this to set 
the Eden Primer. So using a bone colour like this just helps blend the eyeshadows all together. And I'm putting this along the lower lash line as well. So the next colour I'm going to use is this one and this is called Unseen. And basically how I do this is the darker the colour gets, I place it closer to the lash line. So this is just going to go in the crease and then the darkest colour which is the black will be right along the lash line. So this is like really easy for beginners I think. And this is a Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush. So the next colour I'm using is called Enigma. And I'm using a Sigma E55 to just pat this colour all over the lid. Now I'm going to use a card to like create a wing. I used sellotape for the look but I can't find any sellotape anywhere. Which is really annoying so I'm going to use a card. And then I'm just going to blend that out with the brush we used before with Unseen. So I blended a little bit of Enigma up into my crease as well, just to give it a really smoky look. And then the last step for the eyeshadow is using Dark Matter along the lash line, so the upper lash line and the lower lash line, and really like sharpening up this wing. So basically it's just like lining my eyes, but not being very neat with it. I'm keeping the inner corner like free of any black eyeshadow. Sorry if my voice has been annoying in this video, I actually just woke up, so that's why the croaky voice. And then I'm just blending that out again with the same brush as before. Now I'm just going to line my waterline and tightline with Zero by Urban Decay. And I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara and I'll be right back. So that's all I'm going to do for my eyes. I'm not actually going to wear false eyelashes, but I did in the Instagram picture. And those lashes were Queen Bee by Coco Lashes. Also in the picture, I did um, put some liquid eyeliner on and I made like my inner corners really sharp with the liner. You can do that if you want, but again, I want to keep this look a little bit more soft. So I'm not going to do that today. So now for the rest of the face makeup, I'm going to use um, Angel Blusher by NYX on a Zoeva 126 brush. I'm just going to dust this on. And then for my highlighter, I'm going to use So Hollywood from Anastasia Beverly Hills on their A23 brush. And I'm going to put a little bit of So Hollywood on my inner corners. Just where I haven't got any eyeshadow at the moment. I was actually thinking So Hollywood is like a gold eyeshadow. So maybe I'm gonna I'm, I might try using like a gold eyeshadow as my highlighter one day. And for my lips I'm using Liar Lip Liner from Urban Decay. And I'm gonna use Anastasia's Undressed Lip Gloss. This is kind of like a liquid lipstick. This lip glosses are so pigmented and then to finish off my look I always spray Urban Decay's All Night Setting Spray just to keep my makeup on lasting all day and that's the finished look I hope you all enjoyed don't forget to use eyelashes if you do want to make it a more dramatic look because that's what I did do in the picture on Instagram I think the lashes made the look don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and leave any requests for videos you'd like to see in the comments below and I will see you next time